Now, if you've ever wanted to run ChatGPT on your local machine without internet connection, your prayers have now been answered. There are two different models available of GPT OSS. We've got the 20B and we have the 120B. In other words, 20 billion different parameters versus 120 billion parameters. Obviously, the 120 is going to be the better version, but better is subjective in a lot of cases, and the requirements to run that, they're pretty hefty. You're going to need to have at least 80 gigabytes of VRAM or video RAM available to you. So if you've got a pretty beefy M series Mac, you may be able to get away with it. For the more normal people out there, like myself, the 20B should be perfectly fine. You only need to have at least 16 gigabytes of VRAM available. Most modern computers are going to have that kind of resource available. So let's take a look at how easy it is to install this, how you can pick and choose which model you want, and then how you can start to use it for yourself on your local machine. All applicable links to everything I cover are in the details down below. So we're going to use LM Studio, a free application that allows us to install LLMs locally on our machine. So let's go and download this. You can see this is for the M series Mac, which is what I'm running. Once downloaded and installed, simply run this. And then we're just going to follow through with what it asks us to do. So let's get started. You can choose the level that you are, whether you're a user, a power user, or you show you want to show everything. It's up to you how you want to do this. Let's go with the user. If you are new to this whole process, click on continue. So now we can say, let's get your first model. What do you want to run? You can see by default, it's going to suggest GPT OS 20B, the 20 billion version. Obviously, you can change this at any time. It's entirely up to you. That's the version we want to install in this instance, but the process is basically exactly the same for whichever model you want to install. And you're not limited to just using GPT OSS. You can install other LLMs. For this, though, we're going to stick to ChatGPT. So let's download this. This is going to take a little while because it's 12 gigabytes. Let's let that go ahead and download it, install it, and we should then be pretty much up and running. There we go. After, well, however long it takes to download on your particular connection, we can now start a new chat. So let's open this up. We now have basically ChatGPT installed locally. So what we need to do is go to the top, drop this down, and you can see these are the models we currently have. So the GPT OSS 20B, select it. We're now interacting with ChatGPT. So let's take a quick look at some of the options you have here. Obviously, this is not going to be as feature-rich as the online version. There are going to be certain things that you're not going to be able to do. But if you want that local model, tap into ChatGPT. This is a great option, especially, like I say, if you want to stay offline and retain all your data on your local machine. If we take a look down the bottom, you can see we can send a message to the model. So let's ask it a question. Let's kind of keep it on par with what we do on the channel. So I'm running this on an M1 Mac Studio with 64 gig of RAM. So it's not a particularly modern machine. It's a few years old now. But if we come over, you can see the thought took 0, 0.00 seconds. So apparently it took no time at all. If you expand this out, you can get some more info. If you come down, it'll tell you then the number of tokens per second being used. So in this example, 56 tokens per second, 153 tokens in total, and 0 0.43 seconds of the first token. So this is using, it's probably this most basic reasoning model. So if we click to open this up, it's using low reasoning, but you can obviously add more insight here to get better results. So between low, medium, and high. So we choose high and ask it another question. Let's give that a try. So you can see it's a reasoning model, so it tells us what it's thinking. It gives us feedback on what it's doing, how it's actually kind of taking the question that we're asking it and how it's coming coming back with the information based on it. So you can see this took 11 seconds, and then it's going to break things down to exactly what I asked it to do in the format that I asked it. And as you can see, it's pretty nifty. It's pretty quick. And like I say, I think it gives you a great starting point. We can obviously keep our chats on the left-hand side. We've also got the ability now to have multiple different LLMs models inside here. So if you did have the resources for the 20 and the 120, you could install those. But you can also install additional models inside here, and you can pick and choose what models you want to use. You can see currently loaded memory consumption is just under 12 gigabytes out of the 64 that I've got. So it says it wants 16 gigabytes of VRAM. This isn't using the 16, so you may, with 64 gig, you may, at a push, be able to get away with the bigger model if you want to try it, but don't be surprised if it doesn't work very well. But as you can see, this definitely comes back with enough information 
We can take a look at the usage here. So again, still coming back with on 50 tokens per second, the number of tokens it took, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's how easy it is to get things up and running. Now, if you're a coder and you want to get access to the code kind of features that you have here, what you can do is if you click this little sort of plugin option, you can see there's some additional plugins we can integrate into this model. For example, JS Code Sandbox and RAG V1. So if you are working with JS Code and you want this to kind of create JS code for you. You can install that here and you can get access to the JS code sandbox to get better results from your JavaScript code inside of things. I'm sure as this matures, there will be more integrations, more tools, more ways in which we can push this to get more out of it on a local machine as opposed to having to rely and pay for ChatGPT Pro or one of the Pro accounts. But would this make you take a look at actually installing this for yourself? Do you like to play around with these LLMs and do you prefer to have something local so you don't connect to the internet and share that data? Or are you quite happy using things like ChatGPT, paying for the Pro account and so on? Let me have your comments in the comment section down below. I'd love to know. As always, all applicable links are in the description down below. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts. And until next time, take care.